welcome to my introduction of the Nitro Circus Monster Truck 1-8 scale by Basher. As you can see, I have the full trifecta now, the Nitro Circus trifecta. I have the uh, mini Nitro Circus, I have the Basher SCT, and the big monster truck. I'm not sure what that means, but I do have it, I just realized the other day. Um, of course, the big one is based off of the small one. Uh, which has been really good. It is, however, a completely different chassis. They just look the same. The uh, SCT, so far so good. I've driven it once, that was fun. Needs a bit of work, and uh, I'll report on that later. Let's get into the monster truck. So, I've been in doubt about this thing, uh, about whether I should get it or not for a long time. I never did because I thought I had too many RCs, which I do. I think I have 15 or 16 now. But they had this sale going on where it was 70 euros cheaper. That was just too good of a deal for so much truck. And I'm happy that I did. One thing that I was surprised about is the fact that I put the wheels on the wrong way around. No, that's not really what I was surprised about. What I was surprised about is how big it is. It's actually my biggest RC. If you compare it to this guy, the Mad Force, you'll see that it's a fair amount bigger. That has to do also with the body being mounted up so high and the wheels being so tall. But all in all, it's, it's, a, it's a huge truck. Uh, let me grab another one of my biggest RCs, the low C8. It's bigger with the trenchers because they have more offset. But you'll be able to see the low C8 is a little bit longer, but it's about as wide and it is in no way as high. Um, as you can see here. Right. So let's get into the truck a little bit. Um, the wheels actually, or the tires, aren't as hard as people have described them to me, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll see how they perform when I try them. People say they're not very good, so then I'll run some other tires. I'm thinking of running these, the big 3.8 Juratrack hatchet tires with some wheel hub extenders because these are the zero offset ones. I think those will be a good match. Um, I like the body. People say it's fragile, so I'll probably run another body. Um, it has, let me grab the camera. It has nice thick drive shafts. So that's great, especially if I want to run the bigger tires, that'll really help. Uh, beefy A-arms, not heard of anyone having trouble with those. The bumper has a very good reputation, you can see. There's a lot of material on it, and I like this the setup that we have behind the bumper. Um, the turnbuckle for the or the steering link for the servo seems a bit thin, but I don't think I've heard many problems with that. Uh, you have this relatively small can; people love it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gear it up a little bit, 18 tooth pinion, and this should get enough speed out of it. Mine came with an unglued ESC. So I'm going to stick that in place myself, probably drill a hole and then secure it with a zip tie. It has those big old battery trays. You can fit two huge batteries in if you want. has the nice shocks. I like the look of them. I like the feel of them. People say that the shock shafts are weak, so I'll see how that works out. If, if they are, then I'll replace them with either the Hobby King upgrade version or I think some of the, um, what is it, Kyosho ones also fit. People have been replacing the steering rack. I can't really see why you would want to do that. It looks like a pretty standard setup to me. Um, but maybe there's problems with it. And if I find out that there is, then maybe I'll do the RC8 steering rack upgrade that people have been doing. I like the, the bracing that we have here. Front and rear shock towers brace. I don't think I've ever seen that on any other RC, but it makes sense to me. 
because um, it will just prevent it from bending without adding much more weight by making the shock towers thicker. So yeah, that's really all I have to say about this truck. It's an it's a nice chassis. Oh, one more thing actually is um, I will put some thicker oil in the uh, center diff, and these. Um, chassis brace I probably will replace with the steel ones if I do an order at Hobby King. All in all, I, I really like the platform. It's very simple. It doesn't have any stuff that it doesn't need. Easy to work on, I imagine. And I, uh, I just really look forward to uh, running this.